Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we're going to learn all about the letter W in English. Now, the letter W is actually a strange and interesting letter in English. It is a consonant letter. It is the 23rd letter in the English alphabet. And as you can see, we call this letter double U. Double U. And that's because this letter wasn't actually always a part of the English alphabet. It was added in around the 7th century. And at that time, it looked like double U. So we called it double U, two U's. OK, now, if you'd like to learn how to pronounce W perfect in English and with lots of different vowel sounds on the end and try some tricky tongue twisters, stick with me for this lesson all about the letter W. OK, now, to make the W sound, the sound that this letter makes, you'll notice you have to bring your lips together. Your tongue kind of floats just behind your top front teeth. And your mouth makes kind of a little circle. Now, it's really difficult for me to show you the, the sound that this letter makes without showing you the sound this letter makes in a word with a vowel sound afterwards. Because I like to call this letter the kicker letter because what it actually does is kind of kicks whatever vowel sound comes after it. So on its own, but what or where or wow, okay, wow. You'll notice that when I say that wow, wow you can only really hear the full W with that vowel sound after it. Wow. So watch closely. Wow. Wow. And that W is kind of like kicking the vowel. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. But you'll notice at the end of wow, it's a little bit different. It's not like wow. Wow. It's wow. And we're going to learn all about how this works when a W is at the beginning and a W is at the end of words. So let's start with W at the beginning of some words. Words like water, water, or winter, winter. What about window, window? This does have a W at the end as well, window, window. And of course words like wonder, wonder wonder or wonder 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 it is actually a really good idea to practice this w sound with lots of different vowel sounds following it so that's what we're going to do now let's have a little go at w with lots of different vowel sounds let's start with the a sound way in words like wait wait wave wave and wake wake or the or sound war in walk or warm or war okay walk warm and war also in wall wall okay or the o oh sound wa in wasp or watch or wanted wasp watch and wanted or the I sound in will, will, wicked, and wimp, will, wicked, and wimp. Or the a uh sound in worry, or wonder, worry, and wonder. Or the ow sound in wow, wow. Or the more slang word wowzer, wowzer, wow, and wowzer. Or the U sound in wood, wood, or the other word that sounds the same, wood, wood, two woods in English. This wood is what trees are made of, and this is the conditional wood, I would, he would, she would, it would, okay? Or E, we, we, as in words like weak, weak, and weak again, weak, as in what day of the week it is or weak as in not strong, but also wean, 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 
ween, okay? Week, week and ween. Or eh, like in web. Or wedding. Or west. Web. Wedding and west. Or er, uh, like in word. Or worthy. Or worthless. Word. Worthy or worthless. Okay, that's quite a few different vowel sounds that we've tried there. So let's have a go at a crazy tongue twister now with lots of those vowel sounds together. Try this. The worried wasp waited by the wet water, wondering when this wicked week would end. The worried wasp waited by the wet water, wondering when this wicked week would end. One more time. The worried wasp waited by the wet water, wondering when this wicked week would end. Oh, okay, so I want you to practice that quite a lot, as many times as you need to, until you've got all of those vowel sounds following the W sounding just like I did in that sentence, okay? So keep it up and you'll find it gets much, much easier over time. Now, let's have a look at W in the middle of some words. Words like reward, reward, or forward, forward, and beware, beware. Also in bewitch, bewitch, or awareness, awareness, awareness. Let's try those again. Reward, reward, forward, forward, beware, beware, bewitch, bewitch, and awareness, awareness. Now, there is a really cool sentence that you can say to practice this W sound in the middle of words using some of those words that we've just learned. Try this, be aware to forward the reward to the bewitched woman. Be aware to forward the reward to the bewitched woman. Now this is okay to say slowly, but if you try to say this a little bit faster, you'll find your mouth has to move quite a lot to make that W sound and lots of the vowel sounds in there. Be aware to forward the reward to the bewitched woman. Be aware to forward the reward to the bewitched woman. Quite difficult. See how fast you can say that sentence properly. Be aware to forward the reward to the bewitched woman. Okay, practice that and you'll find that W in the middle of words super, super easy. Okay, now let's have a look at W when it comes at the end of some words. Words like glow, glow, or follow, follow, or arrow, arrow. And there's a really cool thing you might notice about W at the end of words. If you look at the transcriptions, you'll see in the IPA there is no W sound here. There's no W sound, but it is written at the end of these words. At the end of grow, there is a W. But actually, according to the IPA, we're not pronouncing it. So why does it look like we are pronouncing it? It's actually because if you look at where the vowel sound O ends, O ends right where that W would begin. W, w, grow. So it's there, but have a listen in words like growing, growing, growing. Now, the IPA will actually tell you that there's no W sound in the word growing either, but I can tell you most native English speakers do insert a little W sound here to make it easier to pronounce. Growing, 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 okay? Not grow ing, but growing, growing, or sewing, or rowing, okay? So this is actually quite tricky. You can see the W, and yet it's silent, but it's not really silent. How to explain that one? So, grow, blow, grew, and blue. Let's have a look at some other examples and you can practice with me. Try this, grow, grew, Blue, flew, row or row, bow or bow, 
And of course, how, how. Okay, so grow, grew, blue, flew, row, row, bow, bow, and how. All of those, you'll notice, don't actually have W at the end in, their, in the IPA transcription, but there is a W letter, and they all do look like grow, grew, blow, blue, row, row. They all look like the end in W, okay? So it's a little point to remember that the actual IPA transcription won't show a W sound there, but it does look like we are pronouncing the W when we're pronouncing these words correctly, okay? Something to remember. Now, another strange thing about the letter W is when it appears with other letters. For example, when you see the letter W next to the letter H, this happens in a lot of question words, like what or where. But there are some interesting rules about what happens here, because you notice in what and where, we don't pronounce the H, we only pronounce the W. But what about in who, or whom, or whole? Here, we're not pronouncing the W, but we are pronouncing the H. So sometimes W makes the H silent, and sometimes W and H together, the W is silent. So, look at these words first. Where, where, while, while, what, what, which which, when, when, weather, weather, whale, whale, and whatever, whatever. In all of those words, we are making the H silent. But in any word where you see W and H together, and it's followed by O or O, then we make the W silent. So in who, or whom, or whosoever, or whole, whole, you'll notice that there we're pronouncing the H, but we are not pronouncing the W. So when you see WH and it's followed by U or O, almost always we'll only be pronouncing the H. But in all other cases where you see W and H together, we'll only be pronouncing the W like in what or which or where, okay? In those cases, the H is silent. Crazy rule to remember, but English can be a little bit crazy sometimes. So go back and watch that again until you really remember that rule, okay? What, where, whatever, which, you only pronounce the W in the WH, but who, whom, whosoever, we're only pronouncing the H, okay? Okay, so what about when you see W and R together? In words where you see W and R, we don't pronounce the W. The W is silent, a silent W. Look at words like rap, rap, or wrist, or wrong, or writing. Okay, rap, wrist, wrong, or writing. In those words, you'll see W and R, but the W is silent, okay? So when you see W and R, make sure you don't pronounce the W, it's just pronouncing that R. Rap, wrist, wrong, and writing, okay? There are also some other words, some exceptional words where the, the letter W is silent. Look at words like answer, answer. This is a really commonly mispronounced word by beginners of English because they see that W and they think answer, answer, answer. But it's not answer, no, no, no. The W here is silent, it's simply an -sir. answer, to answer a question. Also in words like sword, sword. When you're fighting with a sword, it's not sword, there's no W in there, it's a silent W, it's just sword, 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 okay? Sword. So remember those two, and remember that in WR words, the W is silent too. You're only pronouncing the R, okay? Now, to finish up today, I'm going to give you two really, really difficult tongue twisters, and these will hopefully help you to master that W sound in all the different ways that you'll see it pronounced within words. So let's have a look at the first difficult tongue twister. Wild wolves. 
wonder whilst wearing woolly wardrobes while whistling and whirling through windy woods. Wild wolves wonder whilst wearing woolly wardrobes while whistling and whirling through windy woods. One more time. Wild wolves wonder whilst wearing woolly wardrobes while whistling and whirling through windy woods. Okay, that was the first one. Now, pretty difficult. Let's have a look at the second one. William went walking with a wacky walrus, wearing a wig and wobbling with each wacky step. William went walking with a wacky walrus, wearing a wig and wobbling with each wacky step. This one, try and say it as fast as you can. William went walking with a wacky walrus, wearing a wig and wobbling with each wacky step. Okay, I want you to go back and say them now 10 times each. And that's it. The W will be perfect for you. OK, thank you very, very much for watching again today. I hope if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you do so after watching this video. There are lots of other videos. We've done the entire alphabet nearly just X, Y and Z to go. But hopefully everything should be here that you need to improve to master your English pronunciation. OK, you can also find me on Ko-Fi if you want to help me make more of these videos in the future. Head over to there. Thanks again. I hope you have an amazing day. OK, I hope you have a wonderful day with a W. Wonderful. A wonderful day. OK, take care and I'll see you again soon for the letter X next. Bye bye.